What's up, y'all? It's your girl, BG, and I'm back with another reaction video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please do all of that good shit down below so y'all know when I'ma hit y'all with another one. So anyways, for y'all today, I have the new Easy X Natalie. They dropped this a little bit ago. It's question studs are afraid to ask straight women. Or whatever. So... <laughs> text gang. I'm not going to hold y'all or myself any longer. Let's just go ahead and see what in the fuck they getting into today, y'all. What is something you miss about being with a guy that a girl can't provide? The thing God that I damn. miss the most that a woman <laughs> can't survive is What's up, Neezy Gay? Gay, 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 gay. Okay, we on point. Look, we're back. We're back in my man cave. My cave made for a man with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Her cave. Yo. We're back, y'all. We're back. As requested. What's up? Okay, y'all. Highly requested or what? This was extremely highly requested. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Everyone wanted to see a part two of our last video where yeah. I'm in the hot seat because, listen, I came up with some bomb questions for Easy, okay? And it wasn't just for Easy. She was answering four studs. For studs. Um, So now she came up with some questions for me. Are I they going to be as good? They're going to be good. Mm. They're going to be uh, just. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, Natalie asked oh, questions that Fims Yo. are afraid to ask studs, okay? Camera. We're doing a little switcheroni. We're doing questions. Studs are afraid to ask straight women. Mm. Straight women. Mm. Straight, straight women. women. Straight women. Okay? Yeah. This is, this is, this is gonna be juicy. Juicy. It's gonna be hot and juicy different. Yeah. Or, or Fims. Some are like kind of towards straight, well, some of the questions are gonna be towards straight women. Some are gonna be towards just Fims. like a femme in general. Okay. So. You ready? Yes. We want to get straight into it. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that like button right now. Subscribe! And share your favorite part of this video. Gio. We are about to start really posting everybody again. Trying to get your followers up. Share, share your favorite it. part of this video. Share the video. Okay, let's get into it. On your story. All right, my first question is, what is something you miss about being with a guy that a girl can't provide? God yeah. damn, oh, it's easy. Damn. Right off the yeah, bat. right into it. <laughs> that, a man, that a woman can't provide. So is there anything you miss? Mm, to be honest, I would say the thing that I miss the most that a woman can't provide, I would say as easily. <laughs> Because I'm not saying that a woman can't provide it. Okay. But not as easily. Okay. Um, is the spontaneity, like, sexually, like, how spontaneous you can be. Wow. Yeah. Because <laughs> you not talking about me? Come, Come on, on camera, um, straighten up. Because I'm I spontaneous, baby. What you mean? You no, know, you are. But I'm talking about, so, like, you'll have to be prepared somewhat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean. Get nah. what they're talking about, the baby. They don't know what you're talking about. You gotta have like your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas a guy, doesn't. Whereas a guy no. doesn't. Like a guy, you can really at any moment, any time. You we know, may have to prepare, down. but our yeah, shit never down. goes soft. I mean, but like I said, it's not to say that a woman can't be spontaneous. Hey. Because you have spontaneous moments, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm sure some of you guys have. It's just it's not as easy. Never easy being easy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That's. I mean, that's understandable. Yeah, you know like, what I'm saying? So slow your roll, real quick. Why? What is it's wrong? It's on Get your the head. Way! Okay. I mean, I, I totally understand it, though. I understand it, baby. Um, you know, like I said, I'm spontaneous. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I can't just drop my dolls. I mean, it depends if I got my piece on or not. You know what I'm saying? But it's still not attached to you, so it's not gonna be an all the time thing. Okay. So. All right. It's just, yeah. Anyway, yeah, next question. Whatever. Okay, next question. She eyes are juicy over here. But hot already. I'm yeah, like, you get it. Okay, so no. this leads me to my next question, actually. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Why do I feel like all so your questions are supposed to be sexual? No. I mean, it does want to know. Okay, so since Nobody we're on the topic, to the sex with a girl compare to sex with a guy? <laughs> answer the question. Yeah, answer, answer the question, question. Dad. Go ahead, 
Alright. So I'm gonna lead with this and then I'm gonna answer the question. Oh First man, foremost, don't be sugarcoating nothing, baby. First and foremost, um, I can't speak for all studs because I don't know how all of y'all are. And I can't speak for all men because, you know, like everyone's skill set is gonna be different. Everyone's okay. skill set might not be your skill My set. My skill set, you know what I'm saying? But I am studs. going to compare her to men that I've been with. Okay. And I would definitely say some of my best actual experiences have been with her. Now she just might be better at what she does, or it might be. Easy like, yeah. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not even... Or it could possibly Yo. be, um, you know what I'm saying? That maybe girls in general just know what another woman would like. How to like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, nah, tell me what you're saying. Y'all yeah. know what I'm saying. Just say it. <laughs> I'm saying I feel like maybe it could possibly be that women know a woman's body. So it's like naturally they might know. Girl, how to just say you got the strap and that's a wrap. But what about you? Know, it's it's like, over you know, with. About the I don't know what to talk about. So See? a lot of people you know what I'm saying? What about knowing like, you? Even the look on her face just I, did. I feel like you wanna know that. I don't it's think my, they wanna know that. It's stuck! Yeah. I'm talking about that too. All right, man. Come what on. What do you mean? Just, are you saying in general? Or are you saying all no, together? No, I would say, and for my experiences, mm -hmm. it has been better. It has been. I mean, in my experience, but we have ten points. Experience we have ten points, studs. Let's go. <laughs> Men, I feel bad for you, bro. That's why they keep coming over to the other side. Ooh. Okay, so next question is, oh, you know, being man. new into the LGBTQ plus community. Are you more attracted to studs or are you more attracted to films? I feel like you already know the answer to this, studs. but I'll let y'all know, I guess. Um, I find myself to be more attracted to studs, for sure. Like, I think Is it because you were a woman or no? Uh, you think because it was because... with men? I don't think so because it's not like I'm going to be attracted to all studs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like, I think pretty studs are very attractive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, um, I, I and pretty. I can look at a girly girl. I'm like, oh, she's beautiful. But it just, it's just different. Cause I like dominance. So it's like, I, I think that like if I were to like be with a like a girly girl, it just I would have to be the dominant she one. Would have to be be. Daddy. So. Daddy, she would daddy, have to be daddy. Come on, yeah, come on, that daddy. come on, that daddy. <laughs> no, 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 What's no, no, up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're more attracted to studs. Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't find myself to be honestly attracted to them like that. Like, I mean, I, I'll be like, wow, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's if body Natalie like was ever with a film, she would have to be what? daddy. <laughs> Okay, that leads, me, that leads me one. Okay, that leads me to my next question. Okay. okay. Since you're more attracted to studs, what cause a lot of straight women I feel like are attracted to women. Like I feel like every girl got a little game. You know that's what I'm true. So besides your girl, you that's know what true. What studs are you attracted to? Like if you have to name drop, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What studs I don't care are you what nobody says. Like what what are your stud crushes? You know? I really don't think we have a great representation of studs like in the media Damn. to like name drop, you know? What? I mean, I feel like I feel like uh, what were you about to say? Uh, Amber, Brand, Ruby Rose. Oh, you said uh, Air to Am. I was gonna say Amber Rose, but I meant Ruby Rose. Oh, I'm gonna say Amber's closet. No, <laughs> my friend. No, I love Amber, but um, <laughs> Ruby Rose. I think she's beautiful, but she's kind of like a mix between like a. I think she's like a stem, right? Yeah, it's like stem. Stud, stud, well, I mean, studish stem. There's so many terms. Yeah, now. I'm just like just keeping it like general studs. Yeah, but she's a yeah. little like more masculine presenting usually. I think she's like yeah. really cute. But I mean, other than that, there's not really. But I'll see like on my timeline sometimes I'm like, oh, she's cute, but okay. I don't know who they are. You oh, know? so not so, nobody like not a no celebrity you could think can of. Can you even like, think of any studs? That's Only fine. Studs that I can think of as young and man. I think like her voice is dope. Like, but I'm not like physically attracted to her. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. All right. What about social media studs? I literally only know your friends. <laughs> but I, I would say, like, you know, your friends are cute, but I'm not attracted to them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's, let's let's bring it up a notch. You know what I'm saying? Let's get juicy. Okay, so my next question is, do you feel more protected with a stud or did you feel more protected with a guy? What are you feeling? You can be honest. <laughs> I'm about to be honest. Be honest as hell. I don't want you to feel offended. Oh, well, we know the answer to that. 
<laughs> okay, go ahead. I feel like in most cases, being with a man, you feel more protected. Wow. Like you feel more safe. Yeah. Because, wow, baby, just stepped on my God foot. damn, oh, me easy. <laughs> That's the old. <laughs> All right, baby, stop. You're rude. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just feel like overall, you know, men, um, cause the only person that usually would make you feel unsafe is other men. So it's like, you know, if I'm with a girl, like sometimes it can feel a little intimidating, like it's, especially if it's a group of men, because at the end of the day, we're still both girls. Right. However, I, I, would I have say a gun and I'll use that shit. <laughs> like, if she was like, pussy ass hoe. No. Um, if she oh, was, shit, you know, man. acting like very scary like and stuff Lamar like that, said, like, I got a gun. I'm scary in this bitch. So she, she does make me feel like safe. Like she, my well-being is always at One the One daughter, of but they all like, my oh, sons in this bitch. Don't walk over here or come here. Like if there's somebody sketch looking around, you know, mm -hmm. or she'll like, you know, make sure she has on her what she needs to, you know, have to handle business. So okay. I feel safe still with her, but I, mm -hmm. I have felt more safe with me. Some people want to know what is your role as a fem in this relationship? <laughs> um, that's so funny because I feel like people automatically assume when they see um, a more masculine presenting woman yeah. and then a feminine presenting woman, yeah. they feel like it's automatically what it looks like and it's that's something that i even had to learn that it's not always the case like just because a woman wants to dress like in in certain type of clothes or yeah. you know whatever carries herself a certain way that doesn't mean that she's not still a woman you know and okay. in this exactly. relationship i've found that i've definitely played both roles like i've played daddy masculine and feminine and i wouldn't <laughs> say did you play daddy no I, i'm not daddy <laughs> She's like, not daddy. Not daddy, but like something that would be perceived to be more, I guess, masculine. Like, I don't know. Like, you have your vulnerable moments where I need to like hold you and like make sure you're okay and take care of you, whatever the case may be. And then, but for the most part, I would say I'm not the dominant role in the relationship, even though I have a very strong she's, personality. She's a very strong personality. Natalie. Yeah. Look, even, the, even the way she does it, Person that's her little, that's her little dominance coming Personality. Personality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, person. I think that Natalie, Natalie is definitely very dominant in a lot of ways that I'm not used to. She's very dominant, but it's crazy though the feminine energy in the relationship overall. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, it's not a typical, I guess, ster a stereotypical relationship that you probably would assume. You know what I'm saying? So. I feel like you're a very dominant woman. Yeah, it's like, I love it though, yeah. and and because it's in the right way. It's not too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can be. I think you had to adjust. I think you had to adjust. I used to go. Used I used to complain to about it. I was like, for her. stop. Yeah. Like, Whoa. Why? You gotta calm down, Natalie. And, and I used to have to tell her like, this is my. Because she would think yeah. that I was just acting like that because I'm with her, and like, I'm like, baby girl. Yeah. I was like this in all my relationships. Yeah, it's not sometimes. because you're a woman. It's just because this is my personality and it can she had a do you guys way. not see her older bro older brother that was her inspiration like you know what i'm saying she didn't have an older <laughs> sister to be girly and stuff like that she had an older brother not girly and stuff like that he, you know what i'm saying she, she's girly yeah. but i feel like you know her role model was guy so i feel like his energy like passed down to her when it comes to masculinity or dominant ways i think i'm very <laughs> am <laughs> i wrong the longest why is this yeah, we, me and my brother have very similar personalities. Which is a guy. I think that um, I'm very strong head headed, strong willed. Mm -hmm. I know what I want. I'm a guy. No, I'm just saying <laughs> I, I I don't I'm I don't take like rap. That's you not know? what I'm talking about now. Those are the dominant things about me though that can come off masculine where mm -hmm. maybe a more feminine woman you would expect to just be more just like, I think people expect that feminine women are just more docile. Like, wow, go ahead and educate me because I don't know what that means. <laughs> Docile. I mean, I can I can use it in a sentence and assume what it means. Go ahead, vocab. You not read. Docile. I docile. have you even. I don't even think you've ever said that word in your life. But because you have a fucking intelligent ass I brain. I went into my Rolodex. It was like boom. Yeah. Docile. What did you say? Docile. 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 So basically, <laughs> that basically means that you know. Um. All right. Usually they use 
the term docile right? for no docile it's like if it an animal's docile it's usually just like timid it's like you know it, you it's not gonna bark it's not gonna bite it's not gonna you know what i'm saying she about and that I life think that when like people perceive that a feminine woman is gonna be more just like docile like that like just more reserved like not have, be super, mm -hmm. super opinionated blah, blah, blah. it's not the case it's not the case. She's a strong black. I'm not white. All right, baby. I'm biracial. She's a strong black. That's when her strong black side comes out. Easy with this. I got it from my mom. She white. You see my mom's personality. My mom's very sweet, but very strong-willed. Nice. Okay. Now we spend a lot of I know, but I think it was interesting. It was a good question. I know a lot of you guys were saying that you wanted to, you want us to go more and go about stuff and like be more educational. So, so my next question does, okay, right. So my next question is, does men give better oral sex or does... the same as your other question. Well, I wanted to go back. She wants her Yeah, she just wants us to hear that. Oh, I really want to know. Like, honestly, we already At the end of the day, I really want... The people want to know, like the people ask the mm. questions. Nigga, I, like, I'm just know. gonna reiterate what I said. We I already know. Do know the, the female anatomy, anatomy just yeah. a lot better. So I feel like with men, um, when you're with them sexually, they kind of have like one end goal, you okay. know. So it's a little harder for them mm -hmm. to like, I would say, focus on really pleasing you. And I feel like with women, it's about the entire journey. You know what I'm saying? It's about the- Not all! I don't know. I mean, I haven't had more than one woman, so. <laughs> but it's not about like, you know, it's about the foreplay. It's about like the during. I just think it's so much more passion because it's not just, it's like more of a connection. You know what I'm saying? These niggas been hanging around fucking Jacina and Brian too much. <laughs> Yo, I think that's all the questions I got, honestly. Oh, I more shit. Questions. Um, my questions, were they heat? They were cool. They were cool. They were cool. We can, we can do a part two. Maybe y'all can help me out with some more questions. I feel like we can do a cool. part three. Not part three. It'll be for my part two, but if you want yours, you can have a part two, too. I was saying, if y'all run this one up, Maybe we'll do another running. Like they should do one like two. Yeah, like, I mean, I think we did pretty good. We did pretty good. Okay, guys, so make sure you guys like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really love you guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Young Easy. And I'm Natalie O'Dell. And we are Easy Ace Natalie. Okay, okay. Anyways, I hope that they do uh, another video like this. And I wish that they would do one together. You know, questions that studs and films are scared to ask each other or some shit. Part three. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But anyways, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Um, we already knew that Easy was the best Natalie ever had. <laughs> oh, shit. We all knew that was going to happen. But anyways, y'all, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Please do all of that good shit down below. And y'all already know, I'm going to hit y'all with another one. All right. Have a blessed day. Oh,